James, we're here at Superstar Components. You've recently installed this uh, automation cell. Can you describe what it is and what they've got here, please? Yeah, sure. So what we've done is we've taken a, a standard ST10 Y-axis lathe, uh, standard range lathe, nothing special about it other than the fact that it's Y-axis, and then we've added this auto parts loading system to it, which is a fully integrated pass system. So it runs straight through the main control uh, very, very simply. Uh, affordable automation is one of the points that the owner of the company made. Is that very much where you're, where you're aiming this? A absolutely. We've seen through feedback from customers such as Superstar a need to, on a very small footprint it has to be said, because this really doesn't add any more uh, footprint than a simple bar feeder, um, the ability to add automation at reasonably low cost. So how much would this be? Just give us an, just give us an idea of what the additional invest, investment would be um, to have something like this onto one of your lathes. Or, and, and which machines does it fit? Sure. So um, believe it or not, you could have an automated system like this fully functional for well under £100,000, which is quite impressive. That means that we would fit an auto parts loader such as this onto our standard ST10 machine. This one obviously is a Y-axis which adds some value to it, but this uh, particular setup will fit anything up to an ST25Y. So what that says to me is that for companies that don't necessarily want to invest hundreds of thousands of pounds because they're unsure of what works coming through the door, they're able to automate at a relatively low, low price point, aren't they? Well, they really are because actually adding the auto parts loader only adds around about £40,000 worth of investment, which is astonishing. So when you look at the cost of actually employing a person over that time, uh, it does talk to that it's you've paid for your loader. Um, now, there's another thing to say there, of course, because what we're not doing there is doing a guy out of a job. Quite the opposite. What we're doing is freeing that guy up to run other machines at the same time and really enhance the, uh, the payback period of the machine. One of the things that the customer fed back to us was that he wanted to get into automation to do exactly that, free his guys up. He's got lots and lots of work, high volumes of work going through the factory. But his initial research meant that he was looking at automation in the three, four, even 500,000 pounds arena, which obviously makes that decision very difficult to do then. You really have to test your business model, make sure that those revenue streams are going to come through profitably. With something like this, he described it as a bit of a no-brainer because with a minimal amount of investment, the similar sort of investment that you might make in a normal machine tool, £100,000, you've actually got a true automation um, setup here that frees an operator to, well, to put can, profit Well, he can run it. this overnight. He, yep. doesn't be, he doesn't have to be chasing seconds, does he, on his cycle times, which means he can, he can program the part in the most efficient manner in terms of reducing tool wear and increasing tool life. Um, just how does it all work? Talk to me about the, the programming side of things as well. Okay, so the programming is actually done through the house control. So um, simply when you get to the end of the cycle, it then hands over to the auto parts loader. Um, this, as you can see, now runs in the background while the machine's still working as well. It's a fairly simple automation process in that it's a simple 90 degree arm. Each, uh, each setup will take four and a half kilograms on those fingers and the whole table will take just over 450 kilograms. So we're looking at a table size of just over 1.2 metres by about 711 uh, millimetres. So, um, as you can see, this part's a reasonably decent size, but we can take down to 21 millimeter size parts, so that can be loaded up with hundreds of parts technically, mm -hmm. uh, and you could also load them in shaft or slug form. Is there any age of machine that you couldn't fit this to? You talked about the models that you can interface it to. Does it have to be, you know, uh, a recent machine? It, it does, to be fair. Uh, we're, we're looking at new uh, machines at this point in time. It has to have the latest software to obviously run these, uh, these new systems. And for those that are obviously going to be seeing this for the first time that might have machining centres, do you offer a similar, of course maybe not the gantry, but a solution for those machines too? Yes, there's, uh, there's several automation solutions now. There are auto parts loaders for milling machines. Uh, you can view those on the, on the Haas website. 
We've also got robotics, there's a Haas robot, and for a long time we've been able to interface third-party robots as well.